How friends, welcome to Strategy. By the end of this video, you will be able to set up your own live stream just like the way you're seeing here onto this YouTube channel and you'll be able to do each and everything. So let's get started. What are the things we need? One, you need a server. Two, you need OBS Studio, that is the live streaming software which you're going to use. And you use, you need some content which you're going to stream, okay? Now, let me say that you want to stream your own stuff, which may be your live streaming to YouTube. Now, what you need to do is to download this software over here, which is OBS, and then you start the live stream. So I'm going to show you each and everything from step one until the last steps, okay? Now, let me say you want to set up a live stream just like the way you're seeing this one over here. And uh, you're just wondering how do these guys manage to get all the content they stream 24-7 without... Um, stopping so the first thing we need to do is to get our content which we are going to stream okay first we download our software and then we are going to download the content which we are going to stream okay the other the one of the places where you can download uh, free content which you can stream and it has license free is pixel okay you just go over to this site and you will be given free videos which you can live stream 24 7 okay depending on your selection the other place is called pixabay okay the other place is called pixabay pixabay i think that's the one and then you're free to live stream uh to download all this content which you can live stream and i'll be making videos on to the other channel which is called scott media showing you how the different ways you can make so that your channel is get, gets monetized if you're going to do such content onto youtube okay after you're downloading all these the other step you need to do is to set up your your live stream now what you need to do is to set up your server if you're going to live stream such a thing in places where you can get a server which is you can live stream with is vault Linode, um dicto ocean uh talk of um, Azure, I talk of AWS, Amazon, and many other places to do. I'll leave the links in the description of this video. Okay, after you downloading this software, OBS, what you need to do is to launch it. And then let's do it. What we need to do is to go to settings first. You click here, settings. And then you come over to stream. Okay, you select here, stream, okay, YouTube. Or the streaming service which you're going to stream if you're not going to stream to YouTube and then you get the stream key where to get the stream key is YouTube channel hey you come over to create and then you say go live and then what we need to do here is to come over here and select copy stream key but before you go on to going live and streaming the first thing you want to do is to edit and then you edit your title you put in your description those are the links and so on you make this private at first and then you put your thumbnail and then um you put your video to the playlist where it is supposed to be and then you come over down here and then you put in your tags okay make sure you put your tags basing on the, um, what your video is all about you put your keywords and many other things to do as far as youtube concerned then you come back here you select monetization okay and then you turn it on if your channel is monetized so my channel is monetized okay now we can turn it on but for the purpose of this video i'm going to not turn it on uh, okay what i'll need to do is to copy my streaming key and then i go back to my streaming software which is over here and then i'll paste this okay then you leave actually you leave this the way they are i recommend you if you if you have a low end PC, I believe that those settings are just good to go with. Then with the canvas, you set the settings the way you're seeing them as you're seeing them there. So 920, so you stream in HD. If I told you you have a low end PC, or if you don't have a GPU, I believe uh, 1080 is just enough for you to stream onto your server or onto YouTube. Now, um, the other thing you can do is. Um, uh, maybe video render you can use that direct 3d and then color format oh actually um the rest of these uh you just leave them the way they are because okay they they are just enough to do with each and everything okay and then you select apply and then you select okay 
Now our next step is to enter the content which we are going to stream. First we shall put the videos which we are going to stream. The other step you can do is to select add and then you choose. If I told you are going to stream uh, a lot of content and you're willing and at the end of the day you, you need to update your playlist, I recommend you to download uh, VLC onto your, onto your PC or onto your server so that it will help you out. So you select video, video, uh, VLC video source. You can name it the way you want. I'm going to leave it to that. And then you come over here, playlist, you select plus icon, and then you add files. So you come to where your folder of streaming is, you select all the videos. So I, I downloaded those sample videos from the sources which I showed you at the beginning of this video. And then what we need to do is select OK. So you can see our videos have started streaming, but we are not live on YouTube. So I can stop this so that I can save time so that uh, okay our next step is to add to make some some to add some value so if I told you want to add audio okay you can add all your audio by just placing this uh, I'm doing this if I told you're going to stream content and you're going to use a different video different footage and different audio so you select audio source or media source so that you can add audio and because I don't have audio here right now, I can just select OK. But I don't have any audio source or any file to play, so I'll just cancel. You can go with that as well. OK. Now, the other step we can do is to add some scrolling test, just like the way you're seeing onto this video here, OK? What you can do is to again to come and then you select Add, OK? Then we come over here and we select Text, OK? After that, you can say OK, and we type in our text which you want. So I will just say that thank you, guys. Thank you. I mean, I mean you, the one watching this video. Thank you um, for watching. Uh, for watching this video. Okay, this, tut this tutorial. Okay. Okay. And kindly. Okay. Consider sharing and commenting, okay? So you guys, I believe you are, you're going to do that. You just help me out with your commenting and sharing. Now, do it. Uh, the next thing we are going to do um, is to come over here and we can put the background, okay? We can do... Uh, text transform you can do uh, some background you can put some backgrounds if you want okay you can put any um, any I want say so I can select okay so it depends on what you want there you can select okay then our stuff is over here but uh, we shall need to do some Sort of changing fonts. If I told we want, we can select the other font we want. Okay, maybe I can go with this. I select the bold version. Maybe 14 would be enough. Select OK. Oh, 14. Let's see, according to what I've seen, 14 in place. I can go with any. Uh, I make it to 48 there. Mm -hmm. And then we click OK. So you can place this maybe just somewhere here. Okay. Onto your screen where you want it to be. Um, going to add that and then I'll come back to where the text is beginning hope you're seeing what I'm doing guys okay now our text someone may not be able to be reading that text because it's not having some background but uh, I never put it because I wanted to do it in a manual way you can select add and then you add the color source Okay, select OK. We can add the color source. Since our font is 
our, our font is uh, white so i don't need to go back again to editing i will need to just change a color which is not white so uh, with the height maybe we shall say 100 can be just enough even according to what i say 90 is enough okay then i select okay uh, we shall bring this down here okay don't mind that we have covered it all you need to do is to just come over here you select the text and uh, we can take it on top okay boom it's now on top of each and every on, on top of the text okay what we need to do is to select it and uh, we can even increase its height okay that way i think uh, for the start that is just enough for us and then for us to add the scrolling uh, the scrolling option or the scrolling uh, filter we just need to select it and then we come over to, to filters then we select plus and then we select uh, scroll okay then we select okay uh, that is just enough so depends on which side do we want to take okay if we want it to come like that or if we want it to come to go to the uh, to the left hand side or the right hand side so if you want the phone to be scrolling going to the left hand side you take this to the right okay that's the best way to go and you loop it such that it continues as far as uh, the, the live stream is still running so you click loop okay as you can see our font is uh, scrolling and you can as well you cannot you can stream as uh, can scroll anything that you want you can scroll image you can scroll uh, anything you want to scroll down there just by applying the scroll effect in it will be applied onto your video now our next step is just to select start live stream so what we need to do is just okay if i'm just to show you over here i've minimized my server and what i'll need to do is to just put uh, this here okay so that i can see the start live stream for the moment i start live stream uh, it will just take a few 15 seconds so that youtube picks your feed onto their site and boom as you can see onto our server the stream has already started and we are going live so as you can see here we are live now we can check and see that uh, if i told i put this live stream public it means each anyone out there watching is uh, anyone out there will be able to watch this live stream as soon as just like uh, okay like let me say if i put this live stream public like uh, if i do like this if i edit okay and i come over here and i say public done then i click save okay the live stream will be public onto my channel and if i search youtube and i put in my channel let me say scott eugene okay if i come over here videos you'll be seeing the live stream 